Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Ms. Artastic Podcast. And in this episode, I'm going to be diving in on three kids, art ideas, and activities um, that you can do at your home, in the classroom, during the summer, with your kids, with your grandkids, when kids come over. Um, or yeah, if your teacher uses in your classroom, it could be a homeschool, family, um, art ideas, whatever it is, these are just general kids art ideas for you to get inspired. And yes, I have a free printable scavenger hunt available for you in the blog post show notes that you can grab and make art planning for art education done in, in a snap. So make sure that you stay tuned and let's dive in onto this episode. You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. All right, so like I said, um, I'm going to be including a um, free printable art scavenger hunt. Um, so make sure that you, um, yeah, just stay listening and I will let you know how to grab that. So here we go. So this blog post and podcast and YouTube video, it's, it's everywhere, <laughs> um, is just going to be covering three art ideas for lessons or activities, again, for home, um, to use in your classroom. And then again, you're going to read to the bottom or listen, and I'll let you know how to get your free printable art scavenger hunt to use with kids. So it is perfect for engaging observational drawing, student choice or kid choice, exploration of choice art making mediums. So make sure you grab a notepad or planning binder and let's dive in right now into these ideas so that way you can incorporate more play-based learning, more exploration of different art mediums and student choice into our education. So the very first idea is exploring the element of art value with observational drawings. So have kids grab something to draw on, like a clipboard and paper, or a sketchbook even, and something to draw with. So I always say grab something to draw on and something to draw with, and head somewhere in the school, or if you're at home, you can head somewhere in your house, backyard, you can go to a local park, whatever it is. Um, Basically, just find, if you're at school, have them find a different spot in your classroom, um, like under a table. And now, you're going to have kids zoom in on different things that they find interesting. Okay, so different things that they find interesting um, that have interesting maybe textures that they happen upon uh, around your classroom, your school, your home, wherever it is. And then you're going to get them to look, you know, zoom down, get close on things like water bottles, basketball, Um, basketballs, Lego, wooden blocks, books, whatever. And then once they find something, they can sit next to the thing with a choice art medium or graphite um, or charcoal, whatever it is that they've chosen to work with. Um, Pencils, fine too. Whatever makes interesting value. So like for younger kids, I wouldn't suggest doing charcoal. That's a lot of mess, but um, definitely like graphite sticks, great pencils, obviously very good. You can even do crayons, create a lot of interesting values too. Don't forget about crayons. I love them so much and they don't make smudgy messes. <laughs> no smudgy messes with crayons, but they make great value. Um, and that's a great lesson just beforehand. You can always show kids how to create value with wax crayons and create value with graphite and create value with your charcoals by how you control the art medium, right? Masters of mediums, softly touching, soft, light values. The harder we press, the more intense the value will become. Anyways, so get them to move their bodies and like zoom in, look really closely at objects, right? Looking closely at it, we're going to see a lot more interesting details than if we were to observe it from a different distance. So have them get down and look at things in different ways. And once again, they find something that they find interesting. They can sit next to it with their, again, their choice art making medium and their art, there's something to draw with. And then they're going to create an observational drawing that focuses on recreating the texture and value 
of the thing that they are observing. Okay, so it's all about value. And of course, um, value is going to help create form, um, create texture, all of the above. So we're really focusing on value with this. Focusing on value. I'm just adding a little bit here on my show notes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next is observational drawings in your classroom or around the house. Okay, so have kids explore the home or classroom. And with this one, it's still it's similar to the last one, but with a little bit of a twist. So they're going to find five things to draw. Okay, so easy. This could even be a sub activity, um, quick homeschool activity, uh, family art activity, classroom activity, no matter what age, you're going to find five different things to draw. But the twist is this, each needs to be drawn with a different art medium. Yeah, different art medium for every single one. And of course, this is perfect for any age, from primary to high school, the level of expectation of the quality of work and of um, the design, just the complexity of it will change with the ability of the uh, of the individual students, right? So my expectations for somebody in grade one again is going to be very different for somebody in grade twelve. I'm gonna I'm gonna expect that someone in grade one. I would probably set a timer on my phone for how long they have to draw so they don't come up and be like, I'm done in one second, right? So like, you know, set intervals on your phone timer and then every so many minutes, maybe like max, maybe they spend five minutes or on each thing if you're doing five drawings. So that'll give you a half hour class. Um, and that's probably the max that they're gonna focus on this. <laughs> um, so five minutes for Young's. And then um, for older kids, if you have a longer art making blocks, then you can increase that amount of time, right? Or do it over a couple periods. Maybe you can even do like 15 minutes per observational drawing and it's done over multiple classes, right? So you're extending the length, which means you're extending the complexity of each individual drawing and you're expecting more texture, um, more working of the image, more value. Again, just everything it will be a lot different in terms of expectations and time spent doing it for someone that's older than younger. Next is a mindful meditation, SEL, social emotional learning, art, art activity, a stream of consciousness brainstorm. So this is super simple. I know these are super abstract, but abstract ideas that I'm throwing out here, but all of them can be done with like no prep, right? You can leave them for anybody almost. Um, anybody can teach these, but these are complex ideas that are essential for art making. You, it is, it is the basis and foundation of our education skills. Observational skills, essential, absolutely essential to being an artist. Professional artists are constantly working on building their observational skills and doing observational drawings. Right? It's essential for that. It's simple, but essential and complex as well, right? Um, this one as well is going to be a different, it's going to be engaging senses. It's a little bit abstract, but also a fabulous activity, especially for sketchbook work that can be used to teach kids how to explore creative thinking, to find new ways to get inspiration and apply, and just really pay attention to the world around them. So that way when they go do their own observational drawings, it's going to help them notice, right? We're teaching them how to think and how to observe and how to notice. So it's like a, an art power really. So have kids find somewhere to sit for 10 minutes or so. Again, depending on the age, again, highly recommend that you pull out the phone timer and like set it so that way kids know how long something feels, right? It's hard to gauge how much time passes sometimes. Sometimes it's too much time that's passed. Um, but other times if they're younger, time passes a lot faster for them <laughs> than for us. So we're going to help them spend more time doing it. So they're not rushing up to us going, I'm done observing. It's been, even though it's been 30 seconds, right? So this is how we're going to do that. So again, have them sit for 10 minutes or so, depending on the age with something to write on and something to write with, and then have them write and draw all the things they experience with all their senses. So they're not talking. They should be sitting relatively by themselves. They could be near a friend, but they're not sitting shoulder to shoulder with a friend, right? We're not, we're not being besties right now. We're being mindful. So they're just going to sit 
mindfully and they're going to write and draw all the things they experience and I'm changing my tone of voice for a very specific reason because this is how you're going to talk when prompting them and leading them into lesson, right? It brings down the tone, it sets the mood, and we're slowly transitioning to being mindful, okay? Um, no talking, just mindful sitting and drawing and or writing about all the things that they see, they hear, they smell, they taste, they touch a beautiful way to get new ideas and focus on the moment exploring our mindful breathe our mindful breathing focusing on the moment loving all the social emotional learning this is engaging whether it's at home in a homeschool setting in a classroom just with your own kids this is highly recommended sketchbook assignment and I highly encourage you to be participating in this as well because of course this is for any age. I actually did this in university so this can be done any age. It's an important, this is an artist activity, right? This is not an kids art activity, this is an artist mindset and artist activity. And it's a highly recommended sketchbook assignment that will truly spark creativity and teach kids, young adults, artists, to engage observational skills and connect their senses, right? As well, it's also good for that mindful mindfulness, right? That mindful moment, connecting ourselves. Um, yeah, I'm just, it's one of my favorite activities and you can do it uh, lots of times during the year. They might even ask you to do it. Um, and you can just, whenever you need this mindful moment, or if it's right before a break, right before testing, like this is the activity to absolutely do. You can even do this back to school time, end of year. Um, back to school, This would, how great would this be to set the tone for your year, right? We're gonna do a mindful meditation, stream of consciousness, consciousness brainstorm, and then these will be collection of ideas that then you can turn even into an artwork later that they, they can do a choice-based artwork based on what they experienced, right? You can continue that choice-based learning, like prompt them to create something, right? You're not telling them what to create, but they're gonna create an artwork that is inspired by all those experiences from that mindful meditation and, and stream of consciousness session, really, right? So you can keep expanding on that however you want. All right, so now I did say that there would be a free printable art scavenger hunt. So another idea really is that you can get kids exploring observational drawing while experiencing a choice of what to draw and mediums to use with a free printable art scavenger hunt. And you can grab this scavenger hunt at the bottom of my blog post show notes. You can find my blog at MsArtastic.com um, and the link to the show notes will be in the description of the podcast or if you're watching me right now on YouTube, you can go down below in the YouTube blog um, show notes. Uh, click the, the link at the bottom. Um, it's going to take you to the YouTube, sorry, to the show notes. Um, and then scroll down to the bottom and you're going to find the link for the downloading part of the art, sorry, of the scavenger hunt. So you're gonna be able to download the scavenger hunt and you're going to be ready to go um, with some, uh, with a free activity, another activity essentially to do with your kids at home, to do with your homeschool activities, to do with your family, to do in your classroom, whatever it is, it's a free, easy use, choice-based, assignment, a free principle. So make sure you check it out. Go to misartastic.com, hit the podcast show notes button, or if you're already on the blog post and you're just watching this video there, just scroll to the bottom and find the link. It says free printable kids art scavenger hunt. Download the kids art scavenger hunt. Okay, hit that big button and you can download it instantly. Um, and yeah, a whole assignment ready to go, helping you be planned and ready to go with your family. And of course, this is a family, fabulous family art time activity you could do with your own kids. Like how cool is this? You guys go out on a, hey kids, we're doing a scavenger hunt and you guys can go draw and just be creative together. It really is low prep, easy to do. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this. So check it out right now. Make sure that 
you go to um, misartastic.com, click the link below the video on YouTube, or scroll down to the bottom of the blog post show notes, or click the blog post show notes link on the podcast, and get ready with some fabulous artist mindsets to help engage kids in being artists, no matter what age or if you're an artist yourself, I highly recommend you do these as well. Anyway, that's it for this episode. This is Ms. Artastic signing out. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons check out artastic kids it is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime anywhere artastic kids is where kids can unleash their creativity build essential skills and have fun so visit artastickids.com to learn more mm-hmm.